Section seventeen of Rhymes for the Young Folk by William Allingham. Read for LibriVox.org by Roslyn Carlyle. The Leprechaun or Fairy Shoemaker. Little cowboy, what have you heard up on the lonely Rath's green mound? Only the plaintive yellow bird sighing in sultry fields around chatty 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 chee only the grasshopper and the bee tip tap rip rap tick a tack doo scarlet leather sewn together this will make a shoe left right pull it tight summer days are warm underground in winter laughing at the storm lay your ear close to the hill do you not catch the tiny clamour busy click of an elfin hammer voice of the leprechaun singing shrill as he merrily plies his trade he's a span and a quarter in height get him in sight hold him tight and you're a made man you watch your cattle the summer day sup on potatoes sleep in the hay how would you like to roll in your carriage look for a duchess's daughter in marriage seize the shoemaker then you may big boots a hunting sandals in the hall white for a wedding feast pink for a ball this way that way so we make a shoe getting rich every stitch tick tack too nine and ninety treasure crocks this keen miser fairy hath hid in mountains woods and rocks and where the cormorants build from times of old guarded by him each of them filled full to the brim with gold i caught him at work one day myself in the castle ditch where foxglove grows a wrinkled wizened and bearded elf spectacles stuck on his pointed nose silver buckles to his hose leather apron shoe in his lap rip rap tip tap tack tack too a green cricket on my cap away the moth flew buskins for a fairy prince brogues for his son pay me well pay me well when the job is done the rogue was mine beyond a doubt i stared at him he stared at me servant sir humph says he and pulled a snuff-box out he took a long pinch looked better pleased the queer little leprechaun offered the box with a whimsical grace poof he flung the dust in my face and while i sneezed was gone. End of section seventeen. This recording is in the public domain.